What's up? My name is Ken Dumbo, the MC with the sauce. Don't forget to subscribe to Jeku. <laughs> That's how we greet him. Let me guard him. Oh, boy, I'm good, boy. That's how we greet him. Well, our colleagues, uh, thank you very much for coming. You've been incarcerated. But you first at Kabwata Police Station and then taken to Chimpokaila. And uh, this morning, the the lawyers made an application that she be granted um, the, the, the bond be extended of course pending trial and uh, we are coming for that concession so at this point in time we would like to um, allow the, the NDC president President Savoy um, Mboyla as well as the chairperson for media in the United March Alliance to just address the media and the president uh, good morning everyone. I am very, very happy to be here. I think uh, the prison conditions are very bad. A prison can either make you or break you. And I pray that it has made me. Because trust me, I was uh, telling um, President Kateka earlier and the women here just behind, I'm sure you have heard, to say that if I want to be president or running for in Oka, I want to be Minister of Home Affairs. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> I want to be Minister of Home Affairs because we need to correct a lot of things, a lot of things. Right now in the women's section of Achimbokaira, there's a serious outbreak of fungal infections, among as many things, serious outbreak. So I think I'll talk to, um, to Uka and the women, because I'm seeing Uka women here, I'm seeing the women from CF, we've got our National Child Lady, we've got women from ULP, I can see GPZ here, and New Heritage Party. Is all represented here. The PF is here, you know. Yeah, we need to do something as women. And for me, even the incarceration itself, I think God just did that. You get the point? Because everything happens for a reason. So the reason why I went to Kawata, I saw it. When I went to Kawata, by the way, there were women where even ARVs are not being given. First day, somebody's on ARV is not being given. And when I went there, I was saying the police, these people have got rights, please give them. And um, I thank God that by the time I was leaving, at least the situation was okay. Right here in Chimbokaira, at least women in terms of medication and everything, they're really being given on that one, they're being taken care of. But other things in terms of, um, in terms of conditions, I've talked about those fungal infections, I've talked about the overcrowding, okay? And then also the issues of circumstantial children. I'm sure some of you already know that uh, when a pregnant woman goes to um, uh, police, you know, to, to prison rather, she goes with a child there, she gives birth there, and the child grows up in prison, okay? Or if she's got small children, no, she can't live with anybody. She goes with the children in prison. And those are the children we call as circumstantial children. Those children are there in prison with the mothers. These are things that as a country we need to sort out. Because if a prison is a child's first home, what kind of a future does that child uh, a child has and also another thing that we need to uh, be aware of the things that we talk about right here that we have a lot of economic problems what is happening now because of all these economic challenges that we have there are a lot of GB cases you know that there are a lot of junkies there are a lot of thefts so because of that the prisons are congested you know the prisons are very very congested from Monday when I came here, I think the SG gave me some food. That was the last food that I ate on Monday. And everybody that knows me knows that I love to eat. That's why you know I'm here. I'm sure I'm going to die. 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 I'm going to die because, uh, um, what is this? Because of the prison condition and everything, I've just not been eating. Okay? And I have gone, I'll call it a hunger strike. Okay? I've gone on this hunger strike not because I wanted to be released. Okay? But because I wanted to make the situation aware of what the women are going through there. And I'll continue not eating. I started not, na, na, the last time I ate was on Monday. So from Monday, even when I'm out right now, I won't eat until Monday, this coming Monday. And like I've said, people that know me know that I love to eat. So it's because I really want the situation in prisons to be improved for the sake of the women, for the sake of the children in that prison there. And once again, I say, me going to Kawata, me going to Chimbokaira here, God sent me there. That I can tell you. God sent me there. I think even the women that have helped out in a little way, I got 200 kwacha, I got 700 here, 100 kwacha, 
for other women to leave. You know, we have also a lot of PIs, but prohibited, prohibited immigrants. Eh? Yes, when a person comes into this country, Angamangi, yes, Baba, they have broken the law by coming in illegally. But the immigration, they get those, I'm sure the men also are there, but the women also, and they leave them in prison. Maybe of Choga Congo trying to go to South Africa, Mamumanga, and the person is there for nine months. You get the point. Mm -hmm. And those women are there. Nikampana Kamuntu. Okay? And we have a lot of young people in this prison here. Kamuntu Kamufana and all those things. They are there for nine months. E prison prison was on. Even somebody who's serving a two-year sentence. Okay? In a two days or three days, I was serving only two years. That's how bad this prison is, okay? That's how bad this prison is, but I appreciate the experience, okay? I do appreciate the experience because it has really shown me. I've been to this prison several times visiting the women, seeing the children, but I'm going to get to end up. It's a different world altogether. Different world. And like I've said, from Monday until Monday, I'll continue not eating. And every time, it's not even fasting, it's hunger strike. <laughs> and I didn't want to mention it when I was inside in the journey. I want the government and people that are responsible for those women to look after them, to look after the children, because they are really suffering. Being in prison, it's punishment enough. Okay? Those wars are punishment enough. We don't have no go tickets in that prison because of the conditions. In a room where there's supposed to be 30 people, there are over 70 children. And women are different from men. People are doing this, these are doing that. That is one of my diseases apart. So for me, as I conclude, I would like to say that I thank God for this experience. And I thank each and every one of you for the support. Because if it wasn't for the support and what every one of you had to do out here, I wouldn't even be out here right now. I wouldn't be here. Okay, so I really, really appreciate it. I appreciate the media and everybody. And my hunger strike continues until Monday. So, Mosanitana, I to red wine, I took a jet of my own way. I'm going to be yes. So, yeah, and a bit of medication here and there so that I, I get well complete. Because I'm going to get a lot of flu like symptoms. I hope I'm going to get a lot of flu. I'm going to get a lot of flu. I'm going to get a lot of flu. I'm going to get a lot of but at the end of the day, yeah, at the end of the day, I am very, very happy that I am here and I am seeing all of you. Let's continue advocating for the women in such places, for the women in such places, so that they come out as soon as possible. Now, my pardon, sorry, as I conclude, last conclusion, <laughs> as I conclude, my pardons, one thing I've also discovered in prison is that uh, they've concentrated so many pardons to male section. So the women were even saying, even the last pardons, Imagine you walk around and say, over 200 women are prisoners. Only five, is it five or ten pardons were given? Okay? We need more pardons. So, Independence Day, Independence Day, let's have even, let's say, 30 or 40 pardons. Let the women, yeah, let them decongest. So, I'll be as my, but okay. Mundanapa Kacha, Jagazinga, they're in prison for a long time. It's my assault, my child. That's my case as well, but as a country. Come with a criminal case, it's a people against a person. I. So I said, I'm checking, but when I'm guessing, they've saved, but just in Pony, when I'm going to name, so that my prison is going to come and shine. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now we can read the madam.
Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, J Cool, and turn on the notification bell, cause I'm gonna see you in the next video.